Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about the caustics effects. These are caustics. It's very simple and nice. When we when the light passes through a, um, a object like water, glass, or diamond, it has a something special effect on a surface that called surface caustics. Another caustics is volume caustics. It happens in the air, in a volume in the 3D. So for doing that, as you can see, we have a special object that when light hit that, it happened the refraction. <clears throat> and in the material, double click, we add a transparent material. Don't worry, I will be explaining the material editor and the material default system in the uh, next category. Transparency, take it, uh, take it up, and then you can choose any of transparency object. This glass is nice. This is an all about the refraction, the refraction of the light. <clears throat> so then we create a light. It's not important, it's Omni. Okay, I bring it here a little bit closer to object to better create a caustics. Nice. In this direction is good. <clears throat> In a light, going to the caustic tab, as you can see, we have two tabs. As I said before, we have a surface caustics and volume caustics. This costs any, this, uh, lots of time to render. It's very heavy. As you can see, the settings are the same. We have two same settings, energy, it's a strength of that, and the photons for better quality of the caustics. Now you can see it. <clears throat> so we turn on the surface caustics. Uh, we need something else. Going to the settings, the caustics is very time consuming for render. In a render setting, in a standard render, you are in a standard, in effects, you have to activate caustics. And as you can see, it's automatically in the surface caustics is active. If you want to turn the volume caustics, as you can see, and you have to activate it here also. We don't want to take, talk about <coughs> the preferences here or properties here because uh, we have to go to the separate lesson to talk about the render settings. They are very complicated. It's don't need to just activate it. The software does everything for you. So first, Activate caustics in the light, activate caustics in the setting, and make sure in a material, double click, in illumination, the generate caustics and the receive caustics is turned on. Don't forget. We know we <clears throat> need three things to calculate the caustics. Uh, okay. Nice. Now everything is ready for render. And as you can see, because this is a glass, now you can see the caustics effects here. <clears throat> they are not good. And as you can see, these are photons. Because of the photons, if you click the light, because of the photons, we need more. If you want to more energy, you can double it. And we have lighter uh, photons uh, of caustics here. As you can see, these are like samples. If you increase the number of the photons, we need more time to render, but we have better quality of the caustics. For example, we make this number nine times. <clears throat> be, be careful about the photons. Uh, <clears throat> if the photons are very high, you need more time to render and as you can see my pc is working very hard to render caustics i think yeah, it's now beginning and now as you can see we have better quality of the caustics <clears throat> and if you want to volume caustics you can turn it on we have uh, again energy and the photons and of course, we have a fall off. We talked about before. This is all about the fall off. For example, we have 100%, as you can see, 
uh, it's uh, caustics go all the way in the scene, you can add a fall off to that. You know all the fall off, I explained it before. So it's uh, exactly like a light fall off, but in a caustics. Inner distance, outer distance, you can refer to the uh, the tail tab in a fall off. That's very simple. This is on caustics. It's happened in glassy objects. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.